Hey everyone, it's Ashley with Going Crochetsy and today I am doing another pattern review. So these are all free patterns off of Instagram that I made and am reviewing for you so that you can um, have the pleasure of maybe going ahead and making the patterns yourself if you find them to be something you're interested in. As always, I like to bring you guys uh, new different patterns when I'm testing out patterns for myself to see if I want to bring them to a market or not I like to uh, Just give you guys all a review of what I think of them so that maybe you guys can bring them to your markets as well or try them out for yourself um, Honest reviews of how I felt like the pattern went overall um, I gotta say that all of these patterns are patterns that I am really excited to have done and didn't really have much issues with um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go through them now um, the first pattern is the tiny chicken key, chain, key ring by stitched by Nanette and it's just this little chicken I used the Bernat tweed that I used on some bigger chickens from the beginning of the week when I was uh, prepping chickens and I figured what better way to use up the rest of that yarn than to make little teeny tiny chickens Obviously, as you can see, I don't have a key ring on mine, but it does have the option. It has great detailing of different ways you can add a key ring to it to make it better for your pattern. Um, it has like, I think, two different ways to do it. The detailing in this pattern is magnificent. It's a great pattern. I'm surprised that it's free because it is such a well-detailed, thought out pattern um, and I really liked this one. I will be doing many more. These I plan to have in like a little bin um, with a bunch of them in there, but I might also add a few with key rings just to see how they go. I don't typically sell a lot of keychains myself at my markets, so I tend to stick with just the little bin full of fun little squishies, um, but I might tr attempt a couple and let you guys know how that goes. My next pattern is this Aloso Baby Skunk by bnk.crochet. And at my last market, I had been requested to do a skunk and I had had this one on my list of things to make for quite some time. Um, and so I decided to go ahead and try it out, give it a go. Um, I thought this was a really fun, easy pattern to follow as well. The only thing that I noticed is it didn't really tell you when to start stuffing and the eye placement wasn't really given to you clearly. But other than that, this pattern was um, quite easy to follow. As you can see, he is quite furry. It actually called for some, like more like a pipsqueak yarn, but I had the fur yarn, so I just uh, used that instead. So he is a furry little skunk. He's a perfect little size for those um, small bin um, options, which is what I've been looking for. I've been looking for new options to provide um, for my customers that have been coming back to my booths uh, time and time again. So giving them some more options of little fun creatures and just changing it up a little bit. So this guy was super cute. I enjoyed making him and I'll be making more. Um, the next guy, he turned out a lot bigger than I had planned for him to do. I wanted to do small bin items. He ended up being pretty massive, not a small bin item at all. He's just a standalone piece. Um, and I used Parfait Chunky for him in a 4.5 millimeter hook and he's still quite large. So he will be a standalone piece. He's not gonna be in my small bin area, but I think he will be popular and I probably will make a few more. He was quite quick and easy to put together. He is the Happy happy the Hippo No So pattern. And this one I believe was a collab because I had four different names on the pattern. So I'll call them all out. Crochet Crochet, Rosalie Downslash Toys, 
crochet.by.ruth77 and pinkblue.crochet. So this was a collab project and it was very well written. I didn't have any issues other than maybe some tension issues of moving placement um, with like the bobble stitches or the tail. Other than that, everything was lined up and perfect and quite easy to make. I just made him um, today and he he turned out pretty quick and cute um, so I'll probably do a few more of these for my market as well the next pattern was a free no sew mini elephant by nooks down slash hooks and I had made this previously um, for a market in the winter um, but I was like making it at like four in the morning um, in a daze when I just couldn't sleep because I was market prepping and it turned out well and I did sell it but like the trunk had ended up crooked. I had used this really the old formula Bernat blanket so it just didn't come out quite the way I was hoping it to, to so I figured I would give it a go and parfait chunky and I am very satisfied with the results and how cute this little guy is. I did not stuff his trunk. It didn't say to stuff his trunk. And so I did not because I figured you could um, manipulate it any way you wanted to, to make it the way you want it to look. And the only issue I had with this is when you go to do the placement of the ears, it doesn't exactly say place them at this stitch on this row it just gives you a photo and it says place at um mark stitch a b c d in e and um i had not marked my stitches so i don't know if i was supposed to or not i guess i wasn't paying clear enough attention to that but i just kind of guessed where to put it it is slightly lopsided but it's okay i think it's still pretty cute and i'm definitely going to be making a bunch of these i'm probably planning to do like six of these for my small bin just lining them all up in different colors i think it came out super cute and i really enjoyed making that pattern so this last pattern is definitely my favorite just because of the quirkiness from it and um so this one is called the dangly banana no so um, pattern by Lil Crocheted Things and it's just the sassy little banana. I can't get over how funny and dangly and cute this guy is and I'm planning on making many more of these just because it matches the kind of humor that I have. If I saw this at a booth, I would be grabbing it in a heartbeat. It's just fun and exciting to me. It has dangly legs. It's a banana and it's angry. I did do one that was a happy banana, but I don't know. I don't, I don't enjoy this one as much as I enjoy this one. So yes, I'm going to give an option of some happy ones because you know, not everyone's going to have a humor of the angry banana but I do. And so this is by far one of my favorite patterns I have made recently just because it's so quirky. It's so cute. It's so squishable. It's one of those like fidget type of toys that you can play with and it's a banana. So how can you not like this? So I'm definitely going to be making many more of these and I hope they do well at my market. If not, that's okay. I will keep this guy with me. He will be like my little sidekick wherever I go because he's just so cute. Um, and those were all of my patterns that I did. So quick sweet, um, short again today. We enjoyed this week's worth of testing out these free Instagram patterns. And I found four new makes that I can place in my small bins um, and a big make too, to, just to have um, sitting out on my table. So this was a very successful week. I'm very happy with all of these patterns. You guys definitely need to go try out these um, pattern uh, creations for yourselves because they were fun and great and wonderful and I can't wait to do another roundup of patterns 
And if you guys have any suggestions of patterns you'd like to see me make, you can go ahead, drop them down in the comments, add a banana to the comments below. If you got all the way through this video, like subscribe and tell your friends about me and my reviews and all my other um, videos. If you enjoy me and I will talk to you all next time. Bye.